This video shows how to replace the internal assembly of a Shimano hub dynamo. Um, we ordered the part from bicycly.de in Germany online and they arrived in Australia within a week. Uh, we had to replace it because our electrical contacts on our new wheels were smashed uh, when they arrived. first job is to remove the roller brake, just one nut holding the roller brake on. These wheels are from our Azor Dutch style bikes. Next job is to undo the cone locking nut. This locking nut has a little recessed ridge on the outer face and you need to make sure you are when you put it back on you, you put it back on the same way uh, otherwise the brake ends up scraping on the wheel next job is to loosen off the cone uh, the cone forms part of the left hand bearing and there are loose ball bearings just sitting in grease in behind there you have to make sure you don't dislodge them if you can. Now to remove the internal assembly all you have to do is uh, undo this, this whole unit using a, a pin spanner or a special tool. There probably is a Shimano tool for this but I'm not sure what it is so I made this one up myself. Just a matter of unscrewing it and pulling the unit out. Take the left hand cone all the way off and continue unscrewing. Just make sure you don't knock those ball bearings off on uh, from the left hand bearing. Putting in the new unit, it's just the reverse. Just make sure you don't bump those ball bearings if you can. Replace the cone on the left hand side. You need to make sure you don't over tighten this cone, it needs to be tight enough so that the axle doesn't wobble but not so tight that it uh, restricts the rotation of the wheel. These dynamo hub type wheels don't rotate as freely as normal bike wheels. Uh, they sort of have a, a clunk 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 uh, as they rotate due to the magnets and the coils. And finally just tighten up the internal assembly.